Hi everybody, this is Alchemist2 and I'm back again with another book review. I picked up this very unusual book called Very Special People. It's by Frederick Drimmer. Oops. And, uh, let's see. Just trying to see when this was written. Uh, this was actually published in 1973, and you can actually tell by how weather it is, but it talks about Siamese twins, uh, bearded ladies, uh, people with extra limbs, or uh, what they call parasites, uh, living skeletons, fat men, fat women, um, dwarves, giants, uh, hermaphrodites, and what they called the very, very special people, which, uh, they had a lady called the ugliest woman in the world. Um, and the elephant man, they talk about him as well. Uh, yeah, it talks about P.T. Barnum. And, uh, how these people used to work for him, uh, including Tom Thumb, and uh, there it has some. Ha of course, it has a lot of uh, years on it, uh, but in this day and age, it's really they're not considered freaks or anything. They're just considered people with a disability or handicap or you know uh, abnormality. I wouldn't even consider it an abnormality. I actually met somebody who was born without any arms and he was it was he was the coolest person I know he was this uh, black kid I went to school with uh, I don't remember his name and he went to U of I he learned to use his toes to eat his food and it was the most awesome thing I had ever seen it was just so cool I mean it really was and you know I would just you know, I was I wasn't watching him uh, or just staring at him out of curiosity, but I, I, I would look at him like, look at what he could do with, with his feet, and um, you know, it just reminded me of that. And you know, back in the day, people like that were shunned; they weren't given any work; they were mostly secluded to sideshows, and that was their only line of, of work. And oftentimes, it talks about the romance or the romantic lives they led. They led. And they would uh, fall in love with normal people like me. <laughs> I'm not normal, but uh, <laughs> uh, then they would have normal children. And you see people like uh, uh, the uh, midgets. I, f I forget what it's, it's called, the little people or something. That they they've had normal children. Um, but it's it's interesting that there are more and more shows about this kind of thing and in England they have one called Extraordinary it's like Extraordinary People or I forget what the name of the show is or Odd Bod I think it's called Odd Bodies and my my friend Rob is absolutely obsessed with it it's all he ever talks about and he said uh, they talk about people who who get uh, breast reductions and things like that I mean there's really odd stuff that these people go through it, get back to some sort of normalcy, but um, you see this on Maury all the time, and, and I don't even think of, that this is unusual, so this this book is definitely dated, and, uh, you know, looking at the pictures, I thought, well, this is very unusual, but, you know, I, di I didn't really think of it as odd, you know, as, uh, I used to sit at a, a group of people uh, at a table, and uh, we were probably the loudest people in the whole um, cafeteria. But uh, all the people that I ate lunch with had some sort of what I guess would be called a mental disability. Uh, my best friend was autistic. And, uh, you know, you couldn't have told me he was autistic. He was normal. He was completely normal to me. And uh, he looked me in the eye and everything. I, I just, I never thought that was unusual. But he had a penchant for doing um, impersonations, and uh, just really, uh, just he would uh, <laughs> go off on a tangent, and it, it was hysterical. And one of my most beloved memories, and <laughs> I still remember that it's like it was yesterday, and I just absolutely adore this 
this kid to death because you know it's like he's the brother I never had but oh and I mean we we're close he he was just an incredible person and um and a, just an astounding artist he was just um re remarkable and um magnificent and uh, I never I still don't believe that he could be autistic or any of these people at my table had uh, some kind of problem there was one girl at, at my table who had this Tourette sort of thing where she would um, make a noise she would say Ugh, you know it's just a noise that she never knew that she was making that you know I didn't none of this seemed out of the out of the ordinary for, I don't know why but it just didn't seem abnormal to me but um, I don't know maybe I, I consider all this typical but um, we were anyway. Uh, we were at the the noisiest table in in the uh, cafeteria as I was beginning my uh, little tale, and uh, he w he was going off on one of his uh, impersonish impersonism uh, tangents, and uh, I w I had a soda which I never should have had. And uh, he made me laugh so hard that soda came out my nose, and uh, it really hurt really bad. And I looked over him. I said, "Pete, Pete, Pete," you know, and that's you know, sort of not really angry out of it, just kind of playing with him. I said, "Don't ever do that again." And uh, it was just uh, just one of those things that was so funny. I love that. I, I would love just to go through that again because <laughs> I thought I was going to pee myself to death. As I was just laughing so hard. And uh, I mean, it was the best time of my entire life. And I would go back to that in a heartbeat if I had a chance. I, I just, I loved it. Plus, um, I was getting more knowledge than what I knew what to do with. And I thought my brain was going to explode every single day. But still, it was the most fantastic time of my entire existence. But um, it was truly uh, one of the things that, uh, when I looked at this book, I thought, yeah, all of this is very intriguing and, and fascinating, but it's very dated. And it's interesting to see how people thought about um, such people as were featured in this book and uh, their abnormality. Well, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't call these abnormalities. It just didn't seem unusual to me. I mean, I've. I've heard of all these things before, so to me, I'm, I'm thinking, no, I can go on YouTube and I can find things that are stranger than this all the time. They're called cryptids, and they're not people, they're actually animals. <laughs> and they're finding them all the time, and they're finding people that are born all the time that are like this, and it's, you know, it's not really considered strange. So, how far we've come.